Hi everyone, it's Buggy Monday at Drawing Club. Today we're drawing Laura the Lucky Ladybug. Okay, so this is Laura the Lucky Ladybug. And to draw Laura, you will need a pencil and a pencil sharpener and an eraser to erase your mistakes and a black marker or a black pencil crayon to outline and maybe some color markers or color pencils to color. Okay, but as usual, I am going to draw Laura with a gray marker just so you guys can see what I'm doing. So Laura is going to start with an oval shape for her head, just like this. Now Laura's got two big eyes, so I'm going to draw a big circle right there and then the next circle is going to go just outside the side of the line I drew for her head just like that and she's got some light shining in her eyes so we're going to draw two circles or kind of oval shapes inside her eye to show the light one big and one small and remember if I'm drawing too quickly you can always pause the lesson and catch up and one more circle. And then I'm going to draw a curving line because later on I'm going to color some of this eye in black with my outliner marker. Just like that. Okay, she's got a little smiling mouth, so we just need a little curving line to show that. And then I'm going to just, just with this, I'm going to make a nice light little circle. So you should go nice and light with your pencil just to show her cheeks. Now she's got two uh, curling antenna. So I'm gonna draw two long lines that just come out and curl like that. And then I'm going to draw another line that follows it just to the end there. I'm going to do the same on the other side of her head. Another curving line and follow it. Looks a bit like a candy cane that's melting. There we go, the other antenna. Okay, now um, if you were listening to my Fireflies uh, video, you might remember that um, this part here oops, made it a little bigger than I want to, but that's okay, is a wing case, which is something that a Ladybug has to cover up uh, her wings. And we're gonna put some circles on her wings for where the spots are. There we go. And another one. And then one more just part of a circle that's going off the side of the, the wing case. And she's also got another big sort of oval shape for her body. So I'm just going to draw an oval shape just like that. And then between her wing case and her body, I'm going to draw a little part of an oval shape to show that she does have a wing underneath. And if you've ever held a ladybug, you've probably seen that they have wings underneath those wing cases. Now she is an insect, which means she has six legs. So I'm going to draw these little bean shapes today just to show her legs. There's one, two, and three on one side of her body. And then one, two, and three on the other side of her body like that. And the last thing we need to do with our pencil today is just make a few little lines along the side of her body to show that like all insects, her body has these kind of armor plates on it, just like that. And that's all we need to do with our pencil. So we're gonna to move to our outliner marker now, and um, or your outliner black pencil, and we'll go over what we've drawn so far. And I might make a few little changes or do some coloring with my marker as I do this. So I'm gonna start with her eyes. 
Now, if you did listen to my firefly video, I talked about how a firefly is not really actually a fly, it's a beetle. And that is also true for a ladybug. Uh, the word bug, which we sometimes use to mean all insects, really only means uh, one kind of insect or one type of insect. Um, and in fact, a ladybug is not really a bug, it's a beetle, just like a firefly was a beetle. And so a lot of the things that I've said about fireflies are also true for um, ladybugs. So actually you might want to call them lady beetles because that is their real name. Um, so like I said, they do have these uh, wing cases at the back, um, like all beetles do, or I think all beetles have the wing cases, and they have their wings hidden underneath and those just protect their wings um, from getting uh, damaged. And also, like all beetles, they start their life as an egg. And a ladybug's eggs are yellow. They're bright yellow. And you can sometimes find them stuck onto a leaf. And they're always stuck onto a leaf of a plant where there's a lot of another kind of um, insect called an aphid, which are very small little insects that love to eat plants. And a, uh, the, a mother ladybug will always lay her eggs on that kind of plant because the ladybugs love to eat aphids. And so after a while, it will hatch and then it will come out as a larva. Um, and a ladybug larva looks very strange. It doesn't look like a ladybug at all. It almost looks like a little spiky alligator and it um, spends some time living on the plant and eating uh, um, other little bugs and then it will go into a pupa and after a while it will come out of that uh, pupa and it will have changed into the ladybug that we we all know but one thing you know, when we think of ladybugs, we usually think of the one that we're most, that we know the best, which is the, the one we've drawn here today, which has a red uh, wing cases with black spots on it. But there are actually lots of different kinds of ladybugs that are different colors. There are some that are yellow, and there are some that are orange, there are even some that are black with white spots on their wing cases. And um, they also have lots of different numbers of spots. And when I was a, a little kid, people often used to tell me that you could tell the age of a ladybug by how many spots were on their back. But that is not true at all. <laughs> the number of spots on a ladybug's back is not connected to how old they are. There we go. Um, and one amazing thing about ladybugs is that uh, they have actually been to space. So um, ladybugs were taken on NASA rockets into space so that scientists could see how they would cope in space and, and if it was a place where they could, um, would be happy and how they would, how they would, uh, react in a place that had no gravity, so where they would be floating. There we go. Um, another interesting thing is, you know, they are bright red or bright color. A lot of them are bright colors. And so you would think that that's maybe a bad idea that, you know, uh, like fireflies, which light up, that maybe birds and bats and other um, frogs, other animals that like to eat small beetles, uh, would want to eat them. But actually, that re that bright red color is a warning to birds and other animals that ladybugs really do not taste very nice and would actually make them sick if they ate a lot of them. So they don't actually get eaten a lot by, by birds and bats. Um, another interesting thing is that different to a lot of other um, insects, they, in the wintertime, 
as adults, they go to sleep. They sort of hibernate and they gather together in really big groups, sometimes thousands and thousands of ladybugs will all come together and they'll all go inside an old log or uh, under a big rock and just kind of cuddle together to stay warm and sort of sleep for the winter and then they'll all come back out again in the spring. So you might be seeing them around right now. I've seen a couple of ladybugs in my neighborhood. So, you know, keep an eye out, look for them. They're always very cute. And if you've ever seen, sometimes if you pick one up and, you know, they don't really bite people. Um, but if you pick one up, sometimes they might, it seems like maybe they they <laughs> they went to the toilet on you. But that's not really true. That, that little um, spot of something that they put on your hand is actually a chemical that would... Um, smell bad and scare away other um, other animals that wanted to eat them, but it really doesn't affect human beings. But anyway, here is Laura, the lucky ladybug in color. So I colored her wing cases uh, red with black spots, and I colored her body a kind of light blue and light gray and a bit of dark blue, and her eyes green and yellow, and her legs pink and her antenna pink. But of course, uh, you can color her any color you would like. All right. Thanks for coming again today and I'll see you guys next time.